hey guys you all are welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is Ezenasi. in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to cut this trendy two-piece gown with two if this is something you're really interested in learning please keep watching okay guys let's get to it okay guys i've gone ahead to cut out the upper bodies which is the strapless bustier and i've also padded it okay if you're here to see how to draft your strapless bustier and how to pad it you should check the description box for the link i'm i've dropped the link there and also if you're here to see the uh video of how to draft your basic uh, skirt pattern you should also check the description box for the link okay guys i've also gone ahead to cut the skirt and also lined the front and the back so guys i'll just go ahead and sew it up sew up the lining of the upper bodies and attach the upper bodies with the skirt okay let's get to it okay guys this is the net i'll be using to cut the tool and i've gone ahead to fold it into two if you notice i fold much of the net so that it will have i'll have enough space to get the shape of the tool you also the way it looks like it's not just straight it's it's a bit um wide at the down part so i went ahead to measure out the shoulder then from the shoulder i also measured out the neckline i'm using three inches width and three inches depth for the three and a half inches depth for the wideness of the neck so after that i connected the neck and also came down with one inch for the shoulder slope so after that, from the shoulder line, I came down with the 9 inches for my armhole, for my armhole. Then after that, I connected the armhole. So guys, the next thing I did was to measure my bust measurement on that arm um, on the chest line. After getting the bust measurement, I added 2 inches for sewing allowance. So from that sewing allowance, from the 2 inches sewing allowance that I marked out, I connected a line straight down to the length of the gown okay the full length of the gown is 60 so i connected the line down to the full length of the gown if you notice i am not uh, marking out the line straight i'm giving it an a line shape that is how it's supposed to be it's not supposed to go down straight like a straight gown or a pencil gown it's supposed to have an a line shape that way it will give you that nice look that look that you saw on the picture so it's not supposed to go down straight so it's supposed to have an a-line shape so guys that is it okay guys while cutting out the net you have to be very careful because most times this net can be very difficult to handle when you're trying to take it the other way it will be going the other way it will just be moving up and down so you just have to hold it carefully and cut it gently okay guys okay guys the next thing i did was to fold another piece of the net then i placed the front part on the uh of the on the net piece so that i can trace out the back the neckline i'm using for the back i'm using three inches width and one and a half depth for the back neck the the, the width is three inches then the depth is one and a half for the back i'm not going to be putting a zip i'm going to put button so i'll just cut it open with like three inches i'll just cut it open after cutting it i'm going to turn it with a bias so that's it i'm not attaching zip on the back so i did not give any zip allowance for the back of the of the tool so guys that is it so i'll go ahead and cut out the back sorry guys you people missed something along the line i thought that i was still recording i didn't know that my phone has already gone off so on the down part of the tool i measured out 11 inches for the front and the back because you all saw that i placed the front on the back part so i measured out 11 inches then i cut it out it depends on how much um uh, fabric you want to put you can make yours 12 13 depending on how 
you want yours to look i just wanted mine to be 11 inches so i cut out 11 inches from the net now i placed it on the ankara fabric so i'll be cutting out this ankara I, I i want this border on the ankara to be on the down part of the tool so that is it so i i, I measured out i placed the nets the 11 inches net that i cut out i placed it on my ankara fabric so now i'm cutting it out this is the one i'm going to attach on the down part of the tool so let me go ahead and cut it out guys So guys, the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out the sleeve. I'll be cutting the two sleeves together. Yes, I'll be cutting the two sleeves together. I've gone ahead to fold my material into two. So I'm going to fold again, making it into four. The net was really, really stressing me all along. Like this is the reason I said that this net is really, really difficult to handle. So you all should be careful while doing yours, while cutting on the nets. Just you have to handle it with care if not you're gonna have lots of mistakes on it yes guys so the sleeve length i'm working with is 24 i measured out the sleeve length which is 24 so after that i measured out the sleeve cap which is 4 so on the sleeve cap i measured out the armhole the armhole measurement i'm working with is 18 18 divided by 2 is 9 so i measured out the the uh, armhole and i added one inch for sewing allowance so i connected the lines so after connecting see the way i marked out the sleeve i didn't go down straight i gave it an a-line shape also so i went ahead to cut out the sleeve so guys after cutting out the sleeve on the down part of the sleeve i measured out nine inches for the that's for the one i'm going to use to cut out the ankara that is going to be on the sleeve you all saw the ankara that is on the sleeve of the two so i measured out i measured out nine inches so after measuring out the nine inches i marked it out with my chalk then i cut it out so after cutting it out i now placed it on the ankara fabric to trace it out so guys that is it Okay guys, I have gone ahead to fold the Ankara fabric. Now I'll be putting the net on top of it to trace it out. Yes, I'll be putting the net to trace it out. So you guys have to be careful here when you're tracing this out. If you notice, the, the, the down part of the net is longer, is wider kind of than the upper part. This is because of the shape I gave it. So uh, after cutting out my, my Ankara, i had to give it a notch so that i will not mistakenly use the down part to join on the sleeve you understand so i gave a notch on the down part so that i will know the part that is meant to be on the down part you understand so that's how i was able to differentiate between the down part and the part i'm going to attach on the main sleeve of the clothes i don't know if you guys understood what i said so that is it so you have to uh, give it you just have to do something so that you'll be able to use to differentiate between the down part and the part that you're joining on the main sleeve yes guys so that is it okay guys this is exactly the way it looks after i was done joining everything so this is one of the easiest things to sew very very easy and very quick also so guys this is the end of this tutorial if you find this video really helpful please do well to subscribe to my channel i am begging you support your girl and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video thanks to you all and thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos thank you and god bless you all bye